Hello, Retroburn here with a Clockwork Empire's change log discussion. So this is version 35, and the Clockwork devs have called it Enola Brimble's fine day in which everything isn't going to explode. So the patch mostly deals with bug fixes and user interface improvements, and there are several significant features of note, notably uh, dustier dust. So I think. Uh, this has to do with particles, mines, and module maintenance. I'm not so familiar with that, but with the modules thing, a magic. Um, so maybe we can do something about the spice racks in the kilns and the other doodads that we can build in our structures in the game. Lots of UI and UX improvements, so we'll see about that because I'm going to start a new game after this one. And there's a multitude of fixes listed below which embody perhaps semi-successful attempt to make the theme. If you will, of this monthly f update, the fact that we didn't focus on one easy to describe feature. So yeah, they've fixed several things, but um, too few stand out where I'm concerned because um, most are bug fixes, but there are several things that I'm quite curious about. So I'm going to... Uh, skip the engine bit because it's uh, it mostly deals with programming gobbledygook that I can understand. So we'll start with events. Starting sup supplies now drop from the sky. So this is the primary reason why I'm going to start a new game after this one. Because that's going to be very interesting to see. Balance, immigration and favor events fire less often. So this is going to make the game a bit harder. Uh, the supply drop event will no longer inform you that you requested zero items when you forgo a supply drop. <laughs> That's good. Balance made colonists less hungry and game start, so this is going to make us to make our lives easier. Human characters. Um, starvation is checking value 10x to what it should have been. Soldiers now actually move to rally beacons. This is nice because the last time fishmen attacked my colony. Only one responded to my rally beacon. So this is going to make our lives easier. Colonists no longer believe that rock coconuts are a cooked food. Added ZZ particles to sleeping. That's cool. Removed starting naturalist. You must earn one via favor. I'm not familiar with that and I haven't played that this game that much to arrive at that point where I've gotten a naturalist or maybe I did but I didn't notice that I had one. Removed extra pouches from the scientist models. So that's a more of a graphical update. Started overhaul of job balance, disappearing hair bug, <laughs> cleanup of hair models and model def deaths. Don't know what that is. The assigned scientist workers wouldn't give up their uniforms. So um, that would mean that if we conscripted science workers, that would mean that they're going to don the drab brown and blue uniform. I think, I'm not too sure. Soon, combat military, soldiers do push-ups, that's a nice touch. All crew filters are disabled when the unit becomes conscripted. Filters are then reset to the default when conscripting a unit. Hmm. That little spot. Animals and monsters balance made animals less hungry and game start. That's nice. So, building zones, modules, and jobs. Doors now render 10 units above the building footprint as ghosts so they won't clip through the building anymore. So there, these, these are mostly bug fixes. Added sounds to air, airdrop crate. That's good. Added bamboo farming for timber. Mm. So there's not much... Um, I mean this patch doesn't bring anything groundbreaking but I'm sure the collection of bug fixes will make the game a more polished product. So we have a loading screen for the UI. 
Um, edit debug messages to try and catch more save game issues. Q and E now rotate the camera left and right. You should keep that in mind. That's um, quite a huge step. That's a very good improvement from the very awkward uh, middle cl middle mouse button. You know, clicking that one rotates the camera left and right. But this time around, they've added the Q and E buttons to do the same job. So I think that's it. So this has been Retroburn, and then if you like this change log coverage, please like and subscribe. It would go a long way to supporting my channel. Stay cool. Stay far.